Hello everyone, welcome to the for Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to run PHP unit test in your Drupal instance. So I'm going to explain how to do this test for the instance which I already installed. So here I have Drupal 10 migration site and that is already installed. So here you can see the site is already running. So you have to download some library, dependent library to run the PHP unit test. So to do that, you have to run this command. So composer require iPhone iPhone dev and Drupal core iPhone dev. Okay, this you have to run. This will download all the dependent library for the development. So once that is done, so when you go to vendor folder and then uh, bin ls. So in this list, you should be able to see PHP unit so that you can run PHP unit test in your uh, Drupal instance. And then next, what you have to do in your files. So when you go there, go to the core folder. In this core folder, there will be a file called phpunit.xml.test. Okay, you just need to copy and paste it as another file without .dst, it should be phpunit.xml file. Once you copy paste it, you just open the file. In that file, if you search for, so this is the actual file of PHP unit XML. So when you search for a simple test base URL, simple test DB and browser test output uh, directory. So all those values will be empty by default. So once you have copy pasted, you need to mention all those uh, dependencies in this. So here uh, for base URL, I added my complete Drupal for Drupal localhost path. And then the database here, I have mentioned my MySQL details. So this is MySQL and uh, username. And if I have a password, I have to mention the password after colon. So I don't have any password. So I didn't mention that at localhost, which port I am running and what is the database name. Okay. So this is what you have to mention. So you can check the syntax here. MySQL, username, password I don't have. So I didn't give. So at localhost and the port number after that, the database name. So this is how you have to mention your MySQL credentials. After that, where you want to export all your uh, output of your PHP unit. So it will generate a HTML file. You need to provide some directory where all those should be exported. So that you have to provide here. So the complete path where I want to push it. Okay. So that is I have created site simple test browser output. So by default, this will take this folder only, but you have to make sure you have given the triple sum permission for that particular folder. Okay. So you just need to give ch mode iPhone of triple seven and then the path web slash site slash size files. I think not files, yeah. Simple test. So you just need to uh, run this command, ch mode. Okay. So run this command to make it uh, write permission. So once that is done, so now we are all set to go to run the PHP unit test. So now I'm going to run a PHP uh, unit test in a content module. So when you go here, modules, content. Here I have a uh, module called quick note clone. So let me take this. Here there are some some set of test reports are there. So where, where I can run all this. Okay, in this video, I will explain how to run it. And next video, I will explain all how it is running and what are the output we are getting in the export folder of the PHP unit. I will explain it in the next video. So here I am going to use this file to uh, run the test cases. Okay, so to do that, so first you have to go to the vendor bin php unit and then iphone c you have to mention the core path so it's under web slash core you have to mention the core folder because in that core folder only we are having that php unit.xml so you have to mention this so that it can take the php unit folder where it is and then next you have to mention where the uh, php file is presented so if you have uh, so it should be like Web, modules, contrib, quick note clone, and then uh, test for the SRC functional. 
and then the file name what is the file name so quick mock form exclude more things so let me take that quick mock form exclude node field test.php. So I'm going to run this particular PHP file. So just click on enter. So the PHP unit test will be started getting run. Let it run. It will take some time. So please wait until it gets complete. So now you can see our PHP unit test is ran successfully and HTML outputs are generated. So you can see it got generated to the folder where we created. So simple test browser output. So here all the HTML folders files are created. When you go to your folder structure, sites, uh, it's a simple test and then browser output. So here you can see all those HTMLs are Created. So I will explain about all these HTMLs and then first you need to understand what test has the test case they have written in the file so that you will be able to understand all this. So all this I will explain it in my next video. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.